Hi guys, Snake Dodder here. Welcome to Yog Ventures. Well, this is the pre-alpha um, release um, of the game. This is the uh, Yog Yog's Cast uh, video game that was been made in uh, conjunction with uh, Winter Kill Games. And uh, yeah, let's just jump in and uh, try a little test world to see what the game has to offer. I said it's. Uh, I think it's slightly unfair to call it Minecraft, although I'm, as you uh, probably would imagine, it's very much. Uh, Influenced by Minecraft, as uh, Simon and Lewis and all the other guys at uh, the Yogscast play Minecraft so often. But um, yeah, I had a quick go earlier, just have a quick test of it and see how uh, how it looked. I'm quite quite impressed so far. Like I said, it's only a really really early version. This is Alpha version uh, 0.01. There is a 0.02 version out, but for some reason I can't get the uh, download to work. Um, so we're we're really early in. It's only for the uh, for the founders. Um, I backed the game. Um, Gave them three hundred uh, three hundred dollars, which you know it's not a small amount of money, but I wanted to, to see how it go, how it went, how it went. This is uh, this is Honeydew here. I'm sure he'll be digging some holes, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see if you if you use your mouse. Oh, there's a mad baddie coming! Look straight away. Let's try and kill him. Let's try and kill him. Oh, we've uh, we've got him straight away. And looking at we've killed him with these bombs, which are rolling down the hill here, knocking down some trees, and he seemed to. Drop quite a lot of, lot of loot. Now, unfortunately, the spawn uh, despawns quite quickly. If you bring up the inventory, you can see I've only got uh, my pickaxe, some bombs, and um, some wood. Now, unfortunately, we didn't quite react quick enough to pick up all the stuff that that the uh, the frog monster, whatever whatever he's called, um, whatever whatever that drops. So I'm going to throw some bombs off, throw them down there, see if it knocks anything down. So we've got some gold ore. Yeah, one thing I did notice on the game, which I was quite let's pick up this wood, although we don't really need it once because we've got infinite kind of creative mode on. It kind of digs down where you uh, where you click, which again is only a an early sort of uh, alpha thing. I think I'm sure there'll be some clicking, some uh, digging animations and stuff. You can play in first person mode, but to be honest with you, it's a little bit buggy, a little bit laggy. Very sensitive controls at the minute, which will be ironed out. You see, you see in the inventory now I've picked up some stuff. Got pickaxe in number one, bomb here in number two, uh, wood in three, dirt in four, and gold ore in five, and in six we have some stone, some raw stone. Um, you can obviously place the blocks down. Um, so we'll just place some place some place some of this uh, stone down. And as you'll be able to see when we place the stone, if I can do it, as you can see there, look, the because the terrain is curved, unlike Minecraft where everything's like stepped. Some of the blocks stay below the level, which I think is quite a nice little feature, and should should uh, should give some interesting some interesting map building and some interesting buildings to be created. Um, I want to try and find another one of these little frog frog guys. Oh, that's a big drop. Just dropped, lost load of health. Right, let's uh, let's see if we can find another one of these frog guys and see if uh, looks like the the terrain's quite. Let's bring this uh, zoom out a little bit. There we are. The terrain's quite. Quite random, quite quite hilly. I like that. I'm not sure how many different. But I don't think there's any other biomes, any other trees at the minute. There's a dead one there. If we, if we throw down some, throw down some bombs, they don't explode at the minute. I'm sure later on in the game they will explode. But as the trees decay, there we go. It leaves some wood. I'm sure you can. I don't think at the moment the pickaxe doesn't. Uh, unless I'm clicking wrong, doesn't seem to doesn't seem to take down the trees. So if it's really bombs at this stage that we need to use some dirt. Let's grab the dirt. But yeah, I, oh, it is Alpha 2 now. Sorry, I've just seen the corner of the screen there. They, the loading screen said Alpha 1. They haven't updated that, but the actual game itself is 2. I don't know what uh, bugs there were from 1. I know we could fall through the world when you died occasionally. So they've obviously fixed that. It'd be nice if they'd released, uh, stopped the, the spawn, the decay of these items, the drops. And in Minecraft, it's it's 5 minutes. This is obviously about 10 seconds, if that. So uh, I'd like to be able to. I'd like to see that a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, let's hope, let's try and find another one of these these frog guys because I want to I want to see. The, the, I know he dropped some uh, some other some other items when I killed him before. You have to use the right mouse button at the moment in the, in this sort of third person. You click on the mouse, right mouse button and sort of drag your mouse round to to see different angles, which actually I quite I quite like. Um, I can't remember the button for for I think it might be F5. There we go. Yeah. So this is this is first person, which they may have fixed. I'll give it a quick go. 
as you can see when you like you do in Minecraft you get the little black little black drop oh that's a bomb let's use a pickaxe instead so you can dig down you can go underground obviously with this so we'll go underground a bit and you can dig down and make your little diggy diggy holes under the ground <coughs> excuse me um, it's be a little bit careful though I find in, in first person because it's very easy to kind of get lost and looking up is a tad difficult as well uh, because it, the the mouse control seems to be a little bit jumpy at the minute. Maybe sensitivity issues. None of the none of the options controls in the games are actually working at the minute. I'll just get out of here. There we go. Jump out. And we'll carry on. <coughs> Excuse me. Carry on over this hill. Let's see what we can find. Look at another another monster. I don't know if there's any other monsters in the game. Say so the draw distance is fantastic. Let's go down to the water, shall we? If we can get there. I don't know how far away it actually is. We've got a full inventory now of stuff. We've got some what we've we got. We've got some grass flowers, two grass flowers, one and grass. And you can say you can place all these blocks down like you can in Minecraft. I say I do I really do like the way that you can build below the surface, which keeps your, your terrain level. I do like that, I think that's very clever. Um right, let's see if there's any more of the frogmen around. So I'm hoping to keep every time this game's updated, I'm gonna keep uh, Putting the update videos out because I think it's uh, I think it's an exciting project to be part of. Um, it's my first it was my first Kickstarter ca game or campaign to be backed. Done a few since, but um, this one this one caught my imagination. I saw the, the little trailer video that the guys at the Oxcast um, released, and uh, looks like the sea's quite a long way away. Oh, we got was that a bush? Let's have a look what that does, shall we? Let's knock that down. Can we knock that down with the bombs. Yeah, we can. Let's. Uh, what does that do? That drop anything? Just wood. Okay. So we've got a few bushes over there. The larger one. So that drops anything different. Let's put that one down. Gravity as well on this game. I quite like the the, the blocks seem to and more wood. The blocks seem to drop on top of each other and actually with gravity. So if you take like one out, it seems that the ones below will fall, which is quite nice. The ones above rather will will fall on top, which is a bit of a bit different from Minecraft. It'd be interesting to see how the water effects work on this. It's a rather high mountain we've got there. I'm not sure if at the moment if we've got a day and night cycle. I haven't played it long enough. Let's head this way in this flat terrain. Keep our eye out for the little blue frogmen. Just want to try and kill another one of those. Let's see what we can find. So these bombs I'm guessing at some point in the future will explode. And there'll be some terrain um, deformation. That one's been knocked over that tree. Let's see what's on the other side of this uh, other side of this hill. Go over the crest and see what we can find. Like I said, it'll be interesting to see how this game goes. I know that it's it's really going to be made a bit more sandboxy, I think, so that map map makers can build some interesting stories and uh, such interesting uh, sort of adventure games. I think be, I'm sure there'll be some built into the game when it first when it first gets released. Maybe some of the big guys that like, might get involved. Maybe the Oscars themselves may. Hopefully they'll they'll build an adventure or two. I'm sure they've had this game for a while before the rest of us have. So at the mo moment it's only open to the founder founder members. All right, come on, where are you? Must be more than one of them around. Don't seem to have much sound either in this game. All right, is there any around here? Can't see any. Let's go up the hill. Let's go back out into. Ooh. There we go. Back it into third person, which I for building as well. I find that a bit easier because when you when you place down your blocks in in first person, it's a bit hard to see. But now you can get above them a bit easier. You can so you can you can do that and kind of zoom your mouse around a bit and place your blocks. So if you wanted to build a little house, you can do that fairly simply. You know, build a little little area where you can be safe from monsters and stuff As you can see that works quite well and then just oops right mouse button back down again to uh, get back down to the lower level I'm hoping now that we've got sort of the early pre-alpha release um, that, that more more releases all the quicker quicker updates will happen so we can see for a feel how the game's going I think the guys at Winterkill have been quite good they've they've actually uh, sort of responded to 
people sort of bugs and that they've reported to tell you what's happening. It doesn't have to see. It looks like that's the edge of the world. So I'm not going to throw myself off. So I don't think that'll be very sensible. It is the edge of the world. Okay. Um, yeah, they, they've they've updated any bugs that people have people have re reported. That's my fault. I keep clicking on the top of the uh, top of the screen. Um, but yeah, it's quite a, quite an impressive start. Like I said, there's not not much happening in the game. I would like to find uh, I'd like to find another frog monster, and if I find it in another another quick recording, I may well just cut this in at the end and uh, see what we can find. We'll have a look over this hill, see if we can find anything. And if not, we'll uh, we'll call it a day. Well, there's a very dense forest down there, the looks of things. Wonder if they'll if they'll appear there. Let's have a quick look round. Can't see anything immediate vicinity. The last one came after me quite quickly, so yeah, there's a nice forest down here. We'll have a wander down here. Under the world. Let's try and get back in view. There we are. So these little things, not too concerned. These will these will be ironed out. Let's chuck some bombs down, shall we? Let's just see what we can put temping bowl in. There we go. Let's sling some bombs down. I think at the moment with the bombs being in plentiful supply, I think it, if everyone started throwing bombs around, I think it would get very laggy and uh, Start to uh, start to cause issues on the game. The engine is obviously fairly new, so uh, yeah, it's an interesting beginning. I'm quite Im I'm quite impressed. Like I said, let's uh, let's just try and build a quick quick house, shall we? See what we can do. Right, let's place some blocks down if we can. There we go. That one's in the air. These are all in the air. I wonder why that is. Can I get below that? No, nope, doesn't seem like we can. So this is a odd one. Little bug there where I can't get below. No, I think we'll forget the house building. It's going to be quite painful to do, I think, at this point in time. A few little things to be ironed out, but I'm 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 enjoying it. So I think we'll uh, we'll call it a little day there. I'll try and I'll try and um, when I finish recording this, I'll try and find another one of the monsters and just add it onto the end of this video, just to see some of the other drops because it does does drop quite a few other things which. You know, for now, might might give us an insight into some of the other building blocks and some of the other items available in the game. Oh, there we are! Look, here's one of the frog guys again. Let's try and kill him. There we go. We've done him right. Let's pick up all the bits we can quickly. Let's see what we've got. Right. Well, there we go. That happened quite quickly. That's nice. It seems to spawn right at the beginning of the game, which is interesting. So we've got uh, what we've we got here. We've got more than we need. I don't know how you bring up more of the inventory, actually. That's oh there we go, look. Ah, there you go. You actually drag it out of the window, which is quite interesting. So what we've we got here, we've got um in four we've got flowers, we've seen that. We've got some stone brick walls. Let's uh, plonk plonk one of them down. There we are. There's a couple of them. Which should be quite interesting. Nice little repeatable pattern, makes a nice sort of um sort of like a fort or a castle. What we've got here, what's the next one? Uh, that's some wool, some cyan wool. So I'll put a couple of bricks on top of the uh, wall. There's a cyan wool. So we've got like a magenta or a, a ru oh, that's ruby. There we go. Let's have a look at these. Some ruby blocks. So there's some more items that the uh, we might see in the game. What else we've got here? Dark grey wool. Okay. Well, that's very similar to Minecraft in many in many ways. What we've got? Here? What's this one? We can drop those and swap them over. Other sorts of things, can we? I'd like to better place those down, but I don't think I can. So, aha, there we are. Look, plonk that in there. That's that one. Let's put that down. Put that one there. That one out there. And take that one out of there. Put that in here as well. Where's the mouse? It's got a bit laggy. There we go. Right. So we've got a number three. We've got dark green wool. Okay, some dark green wool. What's this number four? That's the right button. Grass patches. Ah, so it's like a, almost like a bit like the mossy cobblestone in in uh, in Minecraft. But the but instead of the cobblestone, we've got dirt, I guess. Uh, number seven was red wool. Okay, lots of red wool. I think number nine we'd already seen, hadn't we? That was a dark grey wool. So yeah, so there's uh, there's some more. I think in a previous playthrough, I had <coughs> excuse me, I had some had some pumpkins. Some other items, but uh, I'm sure we'll see them in a later, in a later, uh, a later build of the game. I'm sure I'll, I'll come across them. So yeah, cheers, guys. Bye bye.